Hello, this is your super K-pop host Ivan. We would like to welcome you to our segment Oh My K-pop, where two of the most amazing artists in K-pop industry, Neve and I myself, will be exploring and analyzing different singers, producers, and performers in K-pop. We hope you guys enjoy this very episode of Oh My K-pop. Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. At this hour, I, Ivan, and Nave will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musicians' point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop. K-pop. The t-shirt weather is here, looking so gray in your pink (laughs) t-shirt. You gotta release that song right now, right Uh, now. Improvisation, looking great. Thank you. How are you? Great. I feel very uh, pink. You feel very pink. (laughs) I don't know what that means. Uh, Today's topic for our first hour was actually... What K-pop comes to mind when you think of the term refreshing, 청량? Mm. And I'm like, pink t-shirt was a perfect answer for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was, um, you know, there's like a candy. Actually, today's been kind of like pink days for me. Is it? Yeah, because I was, I was actually eating the, the, this like random candy. And uh-huh. the, the, the color of the box is pink. Oh. <laughs> the color of the chair I sat on today was, was pink. pink. <gasps> It's the um, pink jinx yeah, day. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I saw like a mom and, 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 and a child actually walking on the side street. Uh-huh. And they were wearing pink. Oh my goodness. And, and I'm wearing pink today. What's happening today? I have no idea. Oh my goodness, it's a pink day for you. I think so. We should change the artist to black pink then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I, I would definitely <laughs> suggest doing that no, if I mean, you that, can. If that was actually the case, mm-hmm. it would be scary. Right? Very. Right? Very. If, if it's like a Truman show. Mm. It's like Somebody's suddenly watching. everything's so pink. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump into today's segment. Would yes, you mind sir. introducing it for us? Mm-hmm. We will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Ivan and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they loved through our point of view. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also need your participation during this time, right? Of course, during the middle of the segment, Ivan and I will be sidetracked that we like by the artist. Yes, and specifically uh, for today's K-pop musician, send in the song by them that you want to listen to and tell us about the reasons why and how you became their fan. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to that. Now, let's start off today's show. Woo-hoo. Who is the K-pop musician of today? Well, today's K-pop musician is amazing, amazing N hyphen. N hyphen. Mm-hmm. Well, this group is formed through an audition program. It is a seven-member multinational boy group that who debuted on November 30th, 2020. Mm. And from their debut album, uh, it shares about its, uh, their thoughts and feelings. And the members presented uh, an album narrative and received great love for their unique story and concept. Mm. And uh, the album reached uh, the fifth place for the initial sales of Male Idol debut album. That is huge. Wow. And 1 billion uh, cumulative streams of Spotify <laughs> in one year and six months since its debut. What a record, right? Eh? That's it's crazy. That is huge as well. Mm. And the fifth mini album, Orange Blood, released in March, a recorded accumulated sales exceeded 2 million, going over <laughs> double million sellers. Double million sellers. Double million. For, Can you believe it? Especially for a uh, boy group. Uh, who did the uh, you know, debut like recently, right? Mm-hmm. And based on solid domestic and international fandom, uh, it is a representative fourth generation K-pop group uh, who's uh, showing a steep rise in domestic and international music charts. And every member is uh, they are good at dancing, especially. Mm. And at the end of the year stage, they performed a dance break of high level uh, every time they did uh, perform on a stage. And so. Uh, they got the modifier ear and uh, even. Yummar even. Yummar even. Ear and even. Mm. That's cute. Makes sense. And they're loved for their perfect dance performance and unique visuals and hyphens music. 
Let's check them out right now. Very, very cool. So more information about the musician. Mm -hmm. The group name N hyphen means to discover and grow through connections like hyphen, mm. um, which really makes a sentence by connecting words with other words, right? Mm. So as artists, the group really wants to connect people and generations mm. and connecting that divided world. Mm -hmm. So heroic, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, they are a, a group that is beyond and above the average in vocal, dance, rap, and everything. They are a whole package. Um, even before their official debut, it had 1.16 million followers on X. Isn't that amazing, <laughs> right? Uh, official Instagram followers are 1.26 million, and mm. official YouTube subscribers are about 990,000 people people mm. so they became the k-pop trend right now they are one of the biggest groups right mm -hmm. would you they agree are. to this they are 100%. exactly and their fandom name is also quite cute mm. the team's name isn't a hyphen their fan name is engine engine mm. wow it's like uh, fans share their uh, uh jeans mm. like it's not like it's kind of like engine like for a car right but also like jeans yeah like dna like, kind of jeans. i feel like it has like a, a double meaning to it right mm. Mm. for sure very um, clever so they're saying that the fans are like the driver for n hyphen's growth and development also means connecting discovering and growing together mm. as a group mm. fun fact the members actually have a group chat room, okay? Group okay. chat, mm -hmm. and it's usually it's like member or like you right, usually you usually title it like uh, the members room or yeah. group chat, mm -hmm. but their chat name is actually Nagaji something something. Mm. Don't go out, someone someone, referring mm -hmm. to a specific member mm -hmm. because there is a member named Nikki who keeps leaving the group chat room by <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> You know, some people, when they organize their group chats, they just leave unintentionally, right? <laughs> so, so the members are like, don't go out. For instance, Neve. Uh, yeah, don't yeah, go yeah, out, Neve. Uh, Stay in the room. Yeah, I, I can highly relate. Right? Sometimes you make that mistake, <laughs> mm -hmm, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, they did enter Tokyo Dome as the shortest among K-pop boy groups. Wow. And they're continuing on their global career by appearing on ABC's Good Morning America, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest morning TV shows in America, and also uh, on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Mm. So they're everywhere, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, starting with Anaheim, USA on the 24th of last month, they're going on a tour, touring around five cities and finish their American tour. And this uh, it's the world's largest pop market, including Oakland, Tacoma, Rosemont. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Another fun fact, the members Heesing and Jae and Nikki, mm -hmm. they threw the first ball, Shigu, mm -hmm. uh, on April 29th, local time ahead of Seattle Mariners versus Atlanta Braves at 2024 Major League Baseball. Mm. Crazy, oh, right? Wow. They They're everything. making a huge mark. Yeah. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not easy for uh, someone or a group who debuted not too long ago to achieve such a accomplishment exactly and Something like this like is a this. dream for everyone right mm. going on tours doing the first ball yeah it needs lots of energy as well mm. would guess. you if if mm -hmm. you were given the chance to throw the shigu the first ball mm -hmm. would you do okay oh my um <laughs> well a long uh, i'm not gonna give a long answer short answer is no no <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, uh, no. Hopefully soon we should do like a catch ball session together for mm. fun. <laughs> I'm gonna make him exercise, guys. Uh, Neevers, don't worry. I'm taking good good care of Neve's health. Okay? Him, it's time for uh, reopening the door so I can <laughs> just like jump out of the studio. <laughs> Sounds good, but you're locked in for uh, this hour. Uh, moving on, please. Yes, sir. All right. Here's a new music information. It's the title song of the special album um, Memorabilia, released at 6 p.m. Yesterday, oh. it's a special album that the Dark Moon series group and Hyphen and Hype's original story uh, met, and it's an album uh, that expressed destiny, love, and vampires' existential worries. Themes that penetrate both N Hyphen and Dark Moon series. So, for your information, Dark Moon is from the Hype original story Webtoon, Dark Moon Children of a Bam Bamfield. 
uh, oh. by Bamfield by Dark Moon. <clears throat> so it's a webtoon. Yeah. So it's basically like two words are collaborating together. The wow. word of webtoon and word of and hyphen. That's, That's cool. That's crazy. They're, they're kind of blending in the universe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So including the title track Fatal Trouble, there are six songs including One in a Billion, Criminal Love, Scream, and Unit Song, Tip, and Lucifer. Mm. And the album preview video released on the second demonstrates uh, the firepower of fans waiting for the release and Uh, it ranked on YouTube trending 인기 급상승 동영상 in many countries and regions, including Korea, Indonesia, and India. Amazing. I mm. cannot wait to check out the song. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure it's going to be very, very good. Uh, I can't wait to and listen to it. And hyphen, they mm. never disappoint you with mm. songs, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, here it goes, our latest drop, Fatal Trouble by and hyphen. Got a, it's got like an OST soundtrack kind of vibe. That is true. It, it, feel, it felt very... Mm, it's very... Uh, I'm trying to figure out the right word. It, it's very majestic. Mm. And mm. dramatic, yeah. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, again, as we just mentioned, it's a collaboration of Dark Moon series mm. and um, this worldview and the universe of N- hyphen. Mm-hmm. So that was a song, again, Fatal Trouble by N- Hyphen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just listened to and gave you some information about N Hyphen's recent songs, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now we're going to go more into the details. Mm-hmm. But before that, would you by any chance be able to announce the, the, the uh, uh, yes. announcement for our listeners? Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for those of you who just came in, today's K-pop musician is N Hyphen. Please send in the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's jump straight into the early phase, the beginning of an hyphen. Let's take a listen to the songs. Let's go. Ooh. Uh, yes. Yes, I do remember when the song dropped. Me too. Uh, it's yes. called it's Drunk called, Yes, Drunk Dazed. Dazed. Yes, mm. Drunk it, Dazed. It has the hyphen in it as oh, well. Oh, it does. Drunk, I think they were going for it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> so, cool. it's the title song of the second mini album, Border Carnival, uh, released on April 26, 2021. It's a pop rock based genre song with 808. Uh, rocking 808 vibe to mm. it and since n hyphen's formation uh, wonder kid and producer pang xia kid men bang participated in the song and it's a song that expresses emotions in the lyrics and the lyrics are about the word that he's never experienced before and the rules are broken like a carnival of chaos uh-huh. and as the members emotions change the darkness and energy of the song are increased in the song and it, it ranked 7th in the 2021 Best K-Pop chart selected by Spotify. 2021 Best K-Pop Song ranked 7. I love this dark vibe. Me too. It's, it's, like, it's so danceable. Yes. And if you really imagine the, the music video, you can already see like so much movement, so much action, so much vibe into it. Mm-hmm. Um, I am loving this song. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Let's take a closer listen to it. Ooh, the acapella. This is actually my first time listening to the song. So uh-huh. this is called Bite Me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a title song of the fourth mini album Dark Blood, released on 2023, May 22nd. And it's an album that's like a fantasy story uh, with a sense of uh, solidarity and uh, preciousness and gratitude felt by the fans after the pandemic. Mm. And as the album that opens the Blood series, it contains a story of determination 
of a boy who reunites with his faithful opponent and sacrifices for her. Oh, so much drama. It's a very majestic oh, story. Okay. Mm-hmm. And six songs in the album have unique themes based on the story of arrogance, curse, awareness, and sacrifice of the forgotten boy. And the title song, Bite Me, is a pop genre song and circuit uh, who produced uh, Sam Smith, Unholy, wow. and The Weeknd's Starboy produced the song. It's a dream team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. He sang, directed, and Nikki participated in the choreography planning. And it's a song that tells the story of a boy who realizes that him and the girl un- reunited are the fate connected by the blood. And that's so scary. <laughs> connected by blood. Yeah, that's the scariest uh-huh. part. And with straightforward lyrics such as Just Come Kiss Me and Bite Me, Live On My Neck, and uh, evidence that I'm yours, it conveys a simple but intense message of bite me. Mm-hmm. And it got the 17th place among the 2023 best K pop songs selected by Paste and a 25 year old American music and entertainment magazine. Interesting. So they are making a huge mark in mm. the industry, not only in Korea, but internationally, right? Yes, I think uh, international uh, magazines and the platforms are taking uh, special attention to and hyphen, uh, looking at the references and whatnot. Uh, no wonder. And they have like this majestic uh, dark story theme mm-hmm. uh, that's driven by and hyphen, uh, which kind of like um, it's very. Uh, Relatable, for so sure, that it sure. draws lots of attention from the international fans as well. Cool, cool. Um, let's take a closer listen to it. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, this is my favorite yeah? hyphen song. All right, let me introduce mm-hmm. the song. This is called Sweet Venom. Uh, it's the title song of the fifth mini album Orange Blood, released on November seventeenth, two thousand twenty-three, and it's a funk pop genre based. Uh, song based on a groovy bass line as an extension of the title track of the fourth mini album Bite Me and Hyphen who has shown a strong music color challenged the popular easy listening song and it released three versions of Korean version English version and the version that the group sang with popular American singer Bella Porch Mm-hmm. Oh. Remember, Jay participated in writing the lyrics himself and he collaborated with the hit song maker Slow Rabbit uh, for the first time and showed a new color of music uh-huh. and through lyrics such as I'll give up forever right now and taste of your sweet venom spreading in blood vessels. The poison of you is sweet and makes me feel alive. They are playful and rhythmic expressions um, of the boy's heart. And in the music video, time and space seem stopped and using the mannequin uh, challenge <laughs> uh, to film a figure standing uh, still like a mannequin, <laughs> it captured the image of an iPhone trapped in a space where time stopped. Time has stopped in the studio too. <laughs> Why are you doing sounding the, doing like the mannequin you as are, a robot? You are now sounding like <laughs> robot. Uh, I, I sincerely love this tune. Let's take a closer listen to it. It is sweet venom. brings me back to my good old days with like Jonas Brothers oh yeah or like DNC you know oh yeah it has it's it's now that you mentioned about Jonas Brothers it just it gives me this vibe of um um, the darker version of Cake by the Ocean. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like yeah, a DNC kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, tune, yeah, yeah, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely has a vibe. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but again, so good, so danceable, and also the fact that they collaborated with Bella Porch. Mm. I love Bella Porch. Mm, mm. Her songs are amazing, and I checked out this version because I wanted to recommend this song today. 
Mm. But then I was told that they're gonna play these three songs, so I'm like, <laughs> this song you cannot choose, guys. So I'm like, darn it! <laughs> it's it's so funny because like we have this like uh, the group chat, mm-hmm. right? SKP uh, fam, and then <laughs> every time Ivan choose a song, it's not every time, uh-huh. but like sometimes he choose a song, and the PD goes like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm there, so I'm just like watching the uh, whole conversation going. Just, uh, that's like, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is this, guys. Um, I uh, I'm still trying to get used to the, uh, used to this whole format. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, the first few weeks, I'm like, uh, I was choosing out songs which our producer actually chose beforehand, mm. and I'm like, I'm gonna play that song, and they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then the way that they say, say no, it's so bold. And just, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm hurt inside. Uh, like moment of silence for Ivan. So I always tell them like, oh, 제가 바본가 봐요. I think I'm such an idiot, <laughs> making the same mistake no. on and on and on. No. Hey, give me two more weeks, mm. and I'll be a professional. I think you're a professional right <laughs> Thank now, you, brother. But I do feel stupid sometimes. Nah, 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 nah. Don't we all? I, I always feel stupid sometimes from uh, time to time. Thank you. So that mm. you just approved that I. I am stupid from no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but anyways we took you to the beginning of an hyphen mm-hmm. play three songs for you mm-hmm. it was uh, amazing amazing tracks right drunk dazed bite me and sweet venom yes and people who are just coming in again today's k-pop musician is n hyphen please send in the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan mm-hmm and now it is time to reveal our choices yes. of today. We mm-hmm. both have to choose out one song that we want to play for our listeners. Mm-hmm. And this somehow became a competition. I don't know how. <laughs> you made it into competition, I didn't. Ivan. Hands up. I did not. Neither as our, as our let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, it's just, uh, it's just like a fun little game yeah, for yeah, us, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you make your choice for today? Yes, it's a fun game, so it's okay for you to re- lose, right? I will never lose. Oh. I've been winning the whole time, you know? Because I usually close the song with my song. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. So, all right. So, I shall go first. Uh-huh. Um, well, I brought this song. It's, it's a very famous song, actually, by Anne Hyphen. And I think if you guys listen to the song, you guys will know. Because I listened to the song on the radio uh, before actually knowing, like, it's a song by Anne Hyphen. I listened to it on the radio, and I thought, mm. like, when the first line came out, I thought it was a straight up pop song. Okay. Yeah. So this is called uh, Polaroid Love. Ooh. Hey, like, uh, Polaroid uh, Love. The, the mel- it's, it's a pop and R&B kind of like driven uh, genre based mm-hmm. song. And it's actually, mm, uh, it, it got released on 2000, in 2022. Okay. Uh, in the uh, full-length album called Dimension Answer, mm. track number ten. You've done your research, oh, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, well, it's 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 the combination. The song is entirely the combination of a great melody, pop genre, pop driven melody, with some type of R and B vibe track beneath it. And then what makes it more like R and B type uh, is the the EP sounding. Ah, uh, EP. Right. And the the while the guitar line drives this like screams out this is pop song mm. and um you know the melody is straight up pop as well but then this like ep sound makes it more of a poppy r&b poppy r&b of course like R&B electric soul. pianos always mm. does the job Mm-mm. i think there's a english version of the song as well really um but the you know it's it's one of those few rare rare songs where it sounds great it doesn't sound like awkward in Korean. Oh, okay. Uh, and it sounds not awkward as well in English as well. So it, it sounds it's great. It's got in its both, own charm. Right, both versions. Uh-huh. It, it, it doesn't It doesn't give me this like odd vibe. You know, sometimes when you translate uh, English song into Korean, it kind of like... Uh, that's yeah. so true. Mm-hmm. So true. Yeah, it sounds... It, it never matches our expectations. Uh-huh. Well, because like, you know, even as singer-songwriters, sometimes when we release a song, right. uh, my ex-agency, for instance, mm. they want a, an English version or a Korean version of that song. Mm. And, you know, people think it's as easy as using like ChatGPT or something to translate. <laughs> but once you actually sing it, you know, you realize in an instance that it's not an easy job. To make nope. it sound natural. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it's it's almost even more difficult than, than writing the song itself. Right. So I would say. yeah. So this song that I brought in for today is mm. kind of like a really good example of uh, pulling it right. 
<laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah, being in the right pocket. Mm-hmm. So I guess uh, we should play this song for our listeners. Mm-hmm. This is called Polaroid Love by N Hyphen. It's like a Polaroid love. Sat down, chonsed on the gamjong. Can they make a sunny day? When I, when I. We're so young, we're so young. Oh, tap it on, hang on, jong is on. Amazing tune. Great choice. Thank you. See, um, I don't know. I don't know, Ivan. I mean, I don't know if you if you can bring uh, a song that can kind of like. I uh, sincerely <laughs> feel a little unconfident today. <laughs> it's um, it's such a great choice, right? It's I such mean, a good listen, uh, easy listen song, isn't th- it? This is like um, for me, it's not. It's it's the type of song mm-hmm. that I actually listen to it. Uh, you know, you have your own playlist, right? right? So whenever I drive, there are a few songs that I play when I when I drive. So okay. it's like a set of list of like thirteen to fifteen mm-hmm. songs, and this song is definitely one of them. I can definitely tell why this. And even though our producer knew, she just walked in saying, you know, she also receives a lot of song requests yeah. for this specific song. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a there's a reason. I think this song is very easy listening song. Mm-hmm. At the same time, it's a very um, the melody is very easy to memorize. Right. Very catchy. Yeah. The moment that the song starts, and I think this could go very well with the term "chongyang," refreshing too. Mm-hmm. It's like I imagine myself driving down. Uh, I don't know, a uh, seaside expressway. Yeah. Uh, on, a, on a convertible, mm, mm, uh, mm, blue sky. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's typical, like, Holly, uh, a California kind of vibe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and plus, it's uh, the theme is Polaroid love. It's ah. like Polaroid. I love Polaroid uh, picture as well. Do you? Yeah, actually, there is a song called Like a Fool of Mine. Oh, of uh, course. Yeah, I love Polaroid picture. So, uh, it's Sam featured on it. So, mm. uh, Sam came, actually. And I just, like, said, we were taking photos by Polaroid and I was just like we should use that mm. as the album cover so that's, how, that's the, how it came out that's how it came out <gasps> no way we were we were being foolish and, and so that it, literally became so the if I cover. bring my Polaroid next week and take a photo for you we should you will use that as an album cover I think I will in relation to this we have a small announcement to make oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So before uh, before moving to uh, Ivan's choice, mm-hmm. so there's one good news. I uh, literally uh, our company posted uh, it on the social media. I am going to be releasing a new single on May 19th. Congratulations, D5. D5. It's, called, yes, it's re hyphen wind. Re hyphen wine, rewind. Yes. Oh, mm. hey, it's your pink <laughs> jinx hyphen day today. Yes, Yo. yes, yes, yes. So, so I'm a little bit late with my Polaroid photo album cover. No, there uh, more will keep on coming. Okay, so, yeah. okay. Mm. Maybe I'll I'll really bring one next time. More the merrier. <laughs> Sounds good. But anyways, um, let's check out some of our listener messages. Yes, sir. Right? You want to go ahead? Yes, sir. So I got the message from Neve Argentina saying hello, Ivan and Neve. How are you? I see you. Uh, very nice. Both today, I would like to tell you that I love an iPhone. Please don't be jealous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were Moment. having a heart attack or something, bro. <laughs> well, well, leave Argentina. You know, you know what I was thinking. Mm. We're, uh-huh. we're not jealous. We're not uh-huh. jealous. I don't know <laughs> the history of an iPhone. I don't know their faces. I don't know their members' names. I'm just a Spotify listener, but their music is always with me. There are some songs that are very happy and catchy, and my favorites are the albums Dark. Blood, the songs Karma, Bite Me, Bills, Fate, All, and uh, Orange Blood, Sweet Venom, Steel Monster, Blind, and All. Uh, of course, I'm very curious about what song Neve and Ivan will choose. Also, I want to know if Neve worked with them. Tell us, Neve, please. Thank you for reading my message. Um, waiting for your video message. Mm. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, uh, uh, Neve and Tina. Are what? you are you okay? Not not jealous? Um, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna need a few hours to just like、uh, let it go. Yeah, guys. But, but again, I'm sure Nevers they're so excited for your new single dropping. Love you, Nevers. Yes, yes, yes. Looking yes. forward to that. Moving on, we have Rusi saying, "Ivan and Neve." It's not me who really like and hyphen, but my niece Dominic and her bias is Chung Wan.、Uh, asked her just now, asking what is her favorite song from them, and she said that she likes all, all the songs from them, and she cannot choose the most favorite. Oh wait, she just replied. Here it goes. Shout out. Orange flower, blind fever, blossom, go big or go home, shakone. Well, I also have a favorite member in the hyphen, Jake and Songun, and my niece, I believe, chose、uh, Jake as her favorite bias too. Imagine me and Dominic watching a hyphen concert together one day. It will be amazing, says Rusi. <laughs> Thank you, Rusi. I got another message from Bahar saying hello to my favorite duo, Niv and Ivan. I'm super excited about today's artist and hyphen. I follow them since their island days、uh, to share a funny story. I remember I screamed so much while watching the、uh, finale of the show、uh, when they announced N iPhones members、uh, that my mom came to my room all scared and she was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't kind of like imagine.、Uh, that's a twist. Yeah,、uh-huh. they are pretty well known for their vampire concept these days, and、mm. they also continued the same concept for their recent release. But at the same time, they pull off refreshing concepts really well. But you need to find those tracks among their B sides.、Uh, my favorite tracks from them are "Not for Sale," "A Fever," "Orange Flower," "You Complete Me," "Polaroid Love," and "Go Big or Go Home." Sorry for my long list. I try my best to、uh, prune it.、Uh, Have a, a great day from Bahar. Thank you. It wasn't too long. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> um, vampire concept. Yes.、Right? There are K-pop groups over the history of K-pop、mm. who pulled out that vampire concept very well. Right. Long time ago, early 2010s, it was Vix. Yes. Do you remember? They were the fantasy concept.、Uh, right? Plus, like a voodoo doll.、Too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I think like. It wasn't like an empty market concerning vampire. I don't think many groups tried out vampire. Yeah, because a lot of people、uh, at the industry related people kind of think the vampire concept is kind of like dated.、Mm-hmm, But then、mm-hmm. N hyphen brought this trend into it. I think they added color. Tone, they did. They、uh, did. Like a black and、uh, red. It's like, their own interpretation and rendition of the 2024 vampire. Yeah. By the way, I love black and red. So, yeah. Just like TMI. <laughs> just that's TMI. why I love. That's why I love an iPhone. Every time I think about an iPhone, I、like、think about like red, the, the yeah, vampire, the blood yeah, all yeah. the way. Okay, one more mm-hmm, message. Mm-hmm.、Um, shall I go? Yeah, so、please. I got、uh, one more message from Tassin saying, "Hi everyone, am I fan of an iPhone?"、Uh, yes, because they are the first group to have supernatural genre、uh, web comic where、mm. everyone can read online. Plus, they have their own distinct image without looking and sounding like other groups. Currently, my favorite member、uh, is. Song Hoon because he looked the best in the latest image from a jewelry brand.、Oh. I'm sorry, Jay, my number one bias. I recommend "Not for Sale" by N. I. F. M. because it's a refreshing song that resonates with S. K. P.'s topic. Mm. Mm. It does resonate with our topic today, which was refreshing. Yeah. So、mm. I mean, my question, Tasin. So for next、uh, shooting for N. I. F. M. Is there any chance that your bias are gonna be changed? Because oh. If, Cause like it depends on the looks.、Right? It could, it、yeah. could, it could, and you know I think biases do kind of change over time, don't they? Uh, um, yeah, but not for not for Nevers. Like Nevers <laughs> would choose Neve one day, but the next day they'll be like, oh, what about Ivan? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, just you guys kind of saw that my vibe when when you guys asked me if I'm jealous. Well, just yeah, just. Just, just yeah, it's think, okay. Think carefully, Nevers. <laughs> think carefully. Think carefully. Are you threatening your fans? No. No. Not just sending my love. I know for a fact that Neve, you have the sweetest fans out there. Still、so. wearing the pink, pink today. <laughs> Okay,、Mm-mm. we're going crazy in here.、Uh, we're running out of time. My choice for today, which I'm going to close the show with,、yes. as usual, is、mm-hmm. a song called "One and Only." One and only. Have you heard of it? No. I chose this because it's a very special project.、Mm-hmm. And Hyphen came together with Pokemon. Pokemon. It's a collaboration. Oh my god! So it's a col-、uh, it's a Pokemon <laughs> project. So they chose out like favorite Pokemons for all the members,、mm-hmm. and then they made a music video、mm-hmm. with them together. So it's like an artificial,、uh, extended reality、oh, kind、wow. of music video.、Mm-hmm. And this was like a big project, and it went viral online. And I grew up watching a lot of Pikachu. 
So um, I thought this was a great time for me to res- pay my respect mm. to these two amazing um, mega mega stars, uh, the Pokemons and the N hyphen members. Yeah, we us we 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 our generation we have lots of good memories with Pokemon. Exactly. I have a sad story uh, related to that, but I'll I'll save it for the later. But yeah. Uh, quick question: yeah. Your favorite Pokemon? Oh my god! Do you remember the name? Um, Mew. Mew. That's a cheat. Why? Because he's the most powerful super superpower Pokemon, the Ooh. ultimate character. Well, well, I I love Mew, uh, not because of the power that he shares. Because, because it's pink. <gasps> yeah. What? <laughs> the pink Jinx. The pink. Yeah. Oh my god. It's pink and plus it's cute. Oh my goodness. Yo, today is your pink day. Yeah. There's something going on in this universe right now. Yeah. Interesting. The universe, the universe is well, guys, for your information, Lee's <laughs> favorite was Mew. Mew. My favorite was Eevee. Do you know Eevee? Eevee that little yeah, cute yeah. dog. Eevee's cute. Right. So we, we, we love cute we ones. We do, we do. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, that is my choice for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it brings back a lot of, of your uh, younger memories when you guys were watching that series. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. have lots of goods out there too. So like, um, I, I used to love like Pokemon Bread. For sure, for sure, man. <laughs> but anyways, anyways we're going to yeah. wrap up N- uh, for this today. Mm-hmm. Um, next week we are going to be bringing on an amazing artist again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a great actor, great singer songwriter, a great artist. Uh, we're going to be talking about Do Kyung Soo Do oh, Do next week. The we're member gonna, of EXO, right? Yes, we're going to have so much things to share. A lot to talk about. We'll see you next week. Yes, sir. Again in pink. Well, something else. <laughs> something, something else. else. Okay. Something uh, else. Guys, again, please do check out Neve's uh, new single that will drop on the 19th. Thank you so it much. It will be an amazing song. Re hyphen. Wind. Yes. Right? Yes. Looking forward to that. Mm. It's been yours truly, Ivan and Liv. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye, Nivers. Love you. Bye. Thank you for listening to today's Oh My K-Pop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in more information about the segment itself, please make sure to visit our official website, www.arirangradio.com, and click on Super K-Pop page.